Hey, mate. Hey, everybody. Maze fan 72 back at you with another video. Let me show you where I picked up at the uh, Sports Radio 16 Annual Fan Fest. Some of the autograph guests that were there. First up, I'm going to show you is the number one ranked UFC welterweight. That is, can you guys guess who that is? That's Johnny Hendricks, and he inscribed it Big Rig. Got him on an official UFC glove. Also got him on this uh, 8x10 that he was signing for everybody. And also took a picture with him. Really nice guy. Next up is this little floorboard I got for, uh, from Matt Bullard. He used to play with the Rockets back in the 90s. He was on the championship team. Um, and I remember... I don't know if you guys remember in a previous video, I had saw rookie, rookie, Rudy T at a um, golf tournament here in Houston during All Star break. What I wanted him to get, what I wanted him to sign at that event, was this book, A Rocket at Heart. I really wanted him to sign this book. Um, didn't get an opportunity. Saw a Catino Mobley card I had near him. Must have. I was hoping to run into him too, but I got Rudy T to sign this book at that event. He showed up. He was actually the headliner of that event, as well as Tiki Barber. He was at that event as well. He had flew in. They had uh, they were actually doing the radio show uh, after the guys would sign. He said he just flew in for this event, and he was going to fly back out. And I guess he does a morning show there up in the New York uh, City area. So. Uh, shout out, uh, big ups to uh, Tiki for coming in for that event. He also signed a football for me as well. You can see that. Bring it a little closer here. Really nice autograph. Real nice, clean, crisp autograph. It's got it on one of these little NFL like replica balls. Um, also got Drew Pearson back there, former Dallas Cowboy. 2011 Ring of Honor really nice autograph I mean he was chatting it up with everybody I took a picture with him really nice guy okay moving on I got a uh, Keenan McCardell card he was there signing autographs this is with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars as well as a uh, signed 8x10 with the uh, San Diego Chargers. So it was really cool to get that. Um, what other, what else I got? Oh, Jacob Green. He's a guy, played with the Seahawks. He was there. He's actually on Texas A&M's uh, athletic, in some, something over at the athletic department. I know he was talking about the new Kyle Field that's supposed to be coming up. Uh, who else I got here? Another UFC fighter, Danielle Pineda. Uh, signed it this way official UFC fight glove as well as this UFC glove here of uh, oh my goodness uh, Andrew Craig yeah Andrew Craig was the guy's name UFC fighter okay got a couple other things here I'm um, kind of going moving right along here <laughs> At Tally Hall, he's a goalkeeper for the Houston Dynamo soccer team. He signed it there in silver. As well as Brad Davis. He's one of the original uh, Dynamo players that came from San Antonio, San Antonio, San Jose. <laughs> Back in, I believe it was 2005, 2006, one of those years. They came out here to Houston. They actually got a stadium built for him now as well. Really nice stadium downtown. Um, soccer, well, soccer and TSU football, but if you ask me, it looked like it's just strictly for soccer because I went to a TSU football game and then you basically count everybody in the stands. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see how long that's going to last. Okay, well, I think I got a couple more items here. That is uh, Lou Savarese. Uh, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, I got a glove signed by him. It's the guy that fought uh, Tyson, Buster Douglas, and looks like he's fighting Evander Holyfield there. I'm sure he lost that fight. I'm not sure what the results is. He put it on his uh, 
he's like a, he has a gym in the downtown area uh, kind of a yeah, turn it over here it's a Savarese fight fit amateur boxing so Muay Thai so everybody's getting into the Muay Thai you know uh, MMA type type of fighting now so he offers that you know, and he signed that so that was pretty cool and last but not least I have this guy here uh, let me bring it closer here this guy here is uh, you know, Paul Emmerich some of you guys may know him I didn't uh, he's a rugby guy that plays rugby USA USA rugby go USA this is uh, I guess a promotion it's supposed to be coming June 8 2013 uh, USA versus uh, Ireland I guess Ire Ireland USA versus Ireland in rugby so that's, that's what's happening there and I got a U of H football uh, I guess a football poster prices starting at $75 or Kids club. And, uh, I was there. I guess they're building a new stadium because they knocked the old stadium they used to play in down. So I don't. I don't know if they're gonna be playing a Reliant Stadium or I don't, I'm not sure where they're gonna be playing. It'd be a. Uh, I'm not sure. So anyway, here's their football poster for the 2013 season. But anyway, uh, it was a pretty good turnout. Like I say, it was. Not as many people as it was last year, but then, then again, Earl Campbell was signing last year. Uh, these were just kind of, you know, some guys. I mean, they, they, they throw some, you know, it's, it's really a nice event. But, you know, you never, it's kind of it's kind of interesting because, you know, the, like a, you, you try to see what the tie to Houston is. And, you know, it's Johnny Hendricks. He doesn't live in Houston. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. He's probably from California or something, but. You know, they, they bring in some guys that you're really not sure what the, the tie in the Houston sports is, but I think that's kind of what's interesting because, you know, Tiki Barber, I mean, I mean, what's his tie to Houston? I mean, I don't know, but it was pretty cool, you know. I mean, there's it, guys you won't see all the time, and uh, TriStar was actually out there uh, selling a lot of the, like, 8x10 photos, and, they of course, they got a show coming up as well, so... Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, man. They could just get some guys that really don't have a Texas tie of any kind. But for whatever reason, you know, they know that a lot of people are collectors out here. So uh, I really appreciate that radio station uh, putting on what they call their signature event. This is actually the fourth annual um, Sports Radio 16 um, Fan Fest. And, and it seemed like it's getting bigger. I'm... I'm I'm curious to know who they can get next year. I mean, they, they're always taking suggestions. I know this takes a lot of planning. Um, it was at the U of H um, uh, Athletic Alumni Center where it was plenty of room, uh, you know, air conditioning. Uh, it was just really a good, it was a well-oiled machine. It looked like they, it was it was a lot more people last year, but then this year, I guess they learned from last year and, you know, they pretty much gave people wristbands and pretty much cut lines off. I mean, it was just really, I mean, before you even got into place, you got a wristband. Once they were out, you just didn't get that, you know, but I ended up getting Rudy T anyway. I didn't have a wristband for him, but you had to have a wristband to get Rudy T. I got him actually as he was coming off of their, the sport, you know, the, um, the radio station was um, broadcasting live from there. So I got him as he came off the stage because I didn't have a wristband. I was one of the unfortunate ones that didn't get a wristband, but... That's cool. I got him in person right as he came off the stage. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I was just really just hyped up that, you know, I, 